Hello, and welcome to Real Estate Today. Uh, my name is Ed Cox, and my co-host is Maria Babicki, and we'd like to welcome you to that. Um, we have a great show planned for you. We're going to talk about some new home automation products and how, for the right people in the right situations, can simplify your life. Uh, so uh, we have some experts on, and I'd like to pass it to Maria and ask her to introduce our special guests and get the show started. Thank you. Hi, uh, our special guests today are coming from Connecticut Lighting Centers and Restoration Lighting Gallery. Uh, Todd Director, Vice President. How are you? And, good, how are you? Good, Thank good. you for coming. And Carla Snowden, who has been on our show before, and she is a Certified Lighting Consultant and Director of New Business Development. Thank That's you correct. for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So uh, what we'd like to do is start with a definition of what home automation is. If you could just tell us um, so, familiarize our viewers with it. Yeah, home automation is nothing more than doing things and having things happen when, when you're away from your house. Mm -hmm. um, things happening based on time of day. Home automation can be as simple as a timer that's set up through a light switch that just automatically happens. Mm -hmm. Home automation could be as sophisticated as knowing how much daylight is coming into your house so it makes your shades go up and down. So, it, you know, home automation is a category that can be just a, a very little piece that plays a little role in your life or it can be something that takes over and runs your whole house and it's seamless. So, so home automation can really be available to anyone, just what level you want to take it to. Okay. And there's a misconception, I believe, that uh, home automation is very expensive. So... Yeah, you know, um, home automation, I mean, as, as technology just keeps on improving, home automation just becomes more and more available. And what's happened now is, is um, with the integration of different products and the price points of different products, you're now able, years ago, you, if you wanted to do anything that was home automation, everything needed to be pre-wired. Everything needed to be pre-thought about. So if you didn't know what tomorrow was going to bring and you weren't going to do it when initially building your house or doing whatever you were in your house, it's just so expensive to, to wire and to do all that. Well, now today with all this wireless technology and everything running through applications and everything else, it's just brought the price way down and also has allowed for you to do things as you go and not have to worry about the pre-wiring and all the pre-existing stuff. That used to be needed. Yeah. And Carla, you, uh, we, w when we met up with you to prepare for the show, we, you talked, we talked about the home show and what people were seem to be interested in this, these products. That's right. We were just at the home show here in Connecticut last weekend, and it was very successful for us because we had a home automation booth. So aside from Connecticut Lighting Centers having their actual light-in booth that features all the light-in products, we actually had a, another booth that we featured Nest Control Systems, Lutron Shade Systems, Keyless Entries, um, all home automation products that we found everybody you know navigated themselves to go view. Um, we were actually selling the product there, and people were very happy about that. They were able to see it, touch it, and take it home, just like our uh, logo <laughs> had features. So, but yes, uh, definitely it was um, right on for us, and we'll definitely do that again next year. I really like the integration feature of these um, various products. So could we begin by maybe talking about the thermostat, uh, the Nest th thermostat, and how that works? Sure. Um, you know, there's a lot of programmable thermostats on the market. There's a lot of uh, Wi-Fi thermostats on the market. The difference with Nest is it's not only Wi-Fi programmable, but it's also smart and intuitive. So the difference with Nest is Nest was bought by Google for quite a few billion dollars. Um, <laughs> and the reason is, is for the learning capability. They're using that learning software to watch a shop when, we, when we're online buying things. So that technology has allowed the thermostat to learn your habits as you move about the house and how you function. So it actually will start to learn habits and play off how you live every day, when you turn it down, when you're home, when you're not home. So it's, it's really cool because it's not something that you need to ever, it's basically you put it on the wall, it's installed and it's smart and it's integratable and it's intuitive, but you really don't ever have to touch it. So, whereas a lot of the other products on the market, you 
you need to be just as smart as it to tell it that you changed your clock, sort of tell it that, right. you know, um, it's going to be really cold out. So I typically, this time of year, like it about 68. Well, I got to turn it to 70. This thing's already knowing and has sensors in it, and it's it's really, really incredible. And it works with like 98% of the systems out there. I'm not going to say it works with everything, but it works with most. Well, like, for example, for me and the real estate part of it is is that we had a uh, an antique home for sale up in Suffield, right in the heart of antiques. And uh, the the home was just a perfect, beautiful, uh, everything in it was period. Uh, all the sound systems were integrated and hidden so that it looked like a period house. The only thing that I really had to look for was that it had a nest on the wall. And I saw from them is that they had a second home. And when they were away, they could still keep track of the heat and make sure that the temperature was right in the house so that the pipes didn't freeze. Is that what some people are using them for if they're second homes? Absolutely. Um, you know, second homes are, are a really big category. And again, the other thing is too, with Nest, because it's, it's smart and learns, um, it will give you the most optimal solution to save energy, but not put the home into a dangerous spot to worry about pipes or to, to worry about those things. So it, it goes into actually eco mode when it senses no one in the home and that happens automatically. Now, you get some people who say, you know what, I, you know, I, I, I just want to use it as, <laughs> as a thermostat. I could care less about anything else and that's totally fine. It actually works like the old dial thermostats. So just really cool. You can, there's so many capabilities inside of it. Almost every single time somebody gets nervous about something that they hear it has, they find out, oh, I can disable that. And they're like, oh, that's great. The, so, C the CIA can't look at you through it. Uh, <laughs> well, who knows? No, I'm just kidding. No, I, you know, the, the one nice thing about, um, about the Nest product line, which Nest, Nest as, a, as a product category consists of three things. It's a, um, it started out with the learning thermostat. That's what typically when you talk to people, they know Nest for the thermostat. Then they bought a company called Dropcam, which now is Nestcam. So Dropcam uh, is was an awesome you know streaming camera, and it, Nest bought that. So now the camera is also in the Nest line, which is Nestcam, which actually we brought one. So here's what they look like here. And then um, aside from the camera, they have CO and smoke detectors, and they have both battery operated for the older homes prior to the code needing wired in smoke detectors, and they also have wired in battery backup. Now, aside from these products, these products all work together. So the more of it you have, the better solution you have. But if you don't want a thermostat and you just want the camera, that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, my first Nest product in my house was a camera for my dog. It, I use it as a pet cam. You know, when, when we're not home from work, it's always on. I know where my dog is. If she makes any subtle movement, I get a notification on my phone. It back feeds to me. Now, again, like I was saying before, this is all stuff that I can turn off. So, you know, if it gets crazy because I just don't want to, you know, watch my dog flutter around all the time, I can turn off that notification so it's not instantly sending me stuff. Um... When it gets into the CO and smoke detector, again, that will also send you notifications. So you, it's just that peace of mind. You know, if you have a, a second home or, or just a home that you're not at all the time or a home where there's, you know, maybe a babysitter involved, it's just that extra peace of mind that if anything were to happen that has to do with CO or smoke, you're getting a notification to your phone. So I, I see that. So um, <clears throat> the next thing is... Um my expectations would be if I decided to do all this, that there'd be a truck in my driveway for the next five days uh, running wires all throughout the house and then having to come back three times to get it so that it worked right. What do you say about that? So here's, here's the great thing about Nest. The great thing about Nest is um, the thermostat is probably the only product that you'd actually need a professional to install. And, and again, I say that there, Depending, some people are so much handier than others, and when you get a handy person and they see how it works, they're like, oh my God, I'm, I, I can do this in two seconds, and we see that all the time. Then we also get some people who will have to hire a professional to put in the thermostat. But they're well, not running wires throughout no, the house. No, it works off the existing, absolutely, works off the existing wires, right. 100%. When it comes to the camera, the cameras, both the indoor camera and the outdoor camera, are, are plug-in. So... 
It's kind of hard to explain. I'll get you some pictures so we can pop them up as to how the outdoor one works as a plug-in. It's incredible. I had a hard time visualizing it until I saw how it came in the package. But um, basically, you're basically cutting a hole in your house and mounting it outside and then plugging it in inside. So I mounted mine outside of my garage and mine's plugged in into the garage. You know, take, you know, ran nice wire down to an outlet. But I was able to install that myself. So just really nice. And um, the smoke detectors, again, if you, you have existing wiring or if you have battery, it's just two wires and it tells you exactly what to do. And believe it or not, the way these things install is there's a QR code on the back of them. A QR code is just um, a barcode Right. Basically. I have one of those readers on my phone. Exactly. Um, you don't even need the reader. All, all you do is it prompts you in the app to hold your phone camera up to the barcode. And when it does that, it recognizes it, it pulls a code off this, and automatically adds it into your system. So, again, just incredibly easy. And that's how, that's how the brand grew to, to really be what it was, and that's why Google paid $3.2 billion for it. Well, that's a really nice thing also for people with elderly parents that they want to keep an eye on during the day. So, um, yeah, I like that. Yeah, and, you know, the, the biggest thing is, too, um, that, that people like to hear is this is your system, just like your email. The only way someone's getting into your system is if you give them the email or the password or you're just totally compromised out there by your, by your email or your password. Um, but, but it's not like through a security company to where there's monitoring and, you know, can they see into my house, can they not? You know, unless you give somebody the, the code to this, the, the chance of somebody actually gaining access to it is nothing like having a, an alarm company or something like that or a camera that goes through a monitoring service that somebody could potentially be able to see in. So, so that's also a piece of security that people like to hear. Uh, another uh, thing, I'm not sure if it links up with these, is, uh, Carla, we, asked, we were talking before the show, is about keyless entry. Sure. Keyless okay. entry is a very popular now um, for people who have children, first of all. They can come home from school. They don't have to worry about fishing in their backpack for a key to get into the house. You don't have to worry about trying to hide a key under a rock for the kid as well. Um, additionally, you can have elderly parents, perhaps, that maybe live with you or maybe don't live with you, but they need to be able to have access from the fire department or the police department in case they fall. Um, in this way, you can get an alert on your phone um, stating you know, to the fire department that here's the code, get right in. So the, the fire department, police department will have codes to get in so they don't have to worry about you know, somebody meeting them at the house to let them in. Um, the keyless entries are fantastic. We're seeing more and more of our builders that we do business with for new construction products, um, pr projects do these types of products in there um, as, as normal, just like the Nest is a part of a normal package nowadays for new construction. Um, the smoke detectors, um, you know, not so much the camera because that's homeowner friendly to install, but the keyless entries, definitely. Those are all fantastic products that, you know, you're seeing as home automation. I just wanted to add to what um, Todd was talking about earlier was is that, you know, Connecticut Lighting Centers really kind of has that motto of letting the public know that we find solutions before we sell product. People come to us all the time and, and I think the big part of the picture is, is that we have a lot of great solutions for homeowners, whether it's an existing homeowner who's just looking to remodel or update or build a new home. But additionally, what's happening is, is that they're coming to us and we're able to offer them products at a very reasonable price and very easy to install and that's real important for them to understand we're not trying to you know get, get them signed up on a special plan like certain you know um, security companies are or anything we're just simply selling them a solution that's moderately priced and easy to install and, the, that, and back for the keyless entry the one thing that also intrigued me is if all of a sudden uh, somebody wanted to service come and furnace, service your furnace and you knew they were coming at 11 o'clock you could specifically right, give so them a code so they could definitely. get it and erase it right afterwards and so that that yeah you don't need to be home anymore to let people in is basically the bottom line um, you can give a code to your babysitter you can give one to your housekeeper um, you can give one to your neighbor you can give one to the dog walker so everybody has 
as one. And then say something happens and you no longer have that person employed, um, you can just delete that access out of the keyless entry and then therefore you know that they don't need to be coming into the home anymore and the, if they ever tried for whatever reason, it wouldn't, wouldn't work. So it's definitely a practical thing to have and very reasonably priced too. And there's different finish options, um, you know, so bronze and satin nickel. I mean, so it's nice. It's not, you know, uh, an ugly device. And now the other one about that was is that I asked you, you Todd, you told me that while you were making dinner, the installation was... Yeah, my, my wife actually decided to... We, we brought one home about a year and a half ago. And the reason why we got one was because we never used to lock the door from our garage into our house. You know, we the garage would be shut and there was a code on that. So if anyone ever needed to get in, we always figured leave the door unlocked into the house. And once the keyless entries, you know, came down in price and were more popular, m my wife always wanted that door lock. So we, she actually put one on while while we were making dinner. So it probably took her five minutes. Okay, so another another big truck doesn't pull in to install <laughs> yeah. this. A lot of but cases you can do that. Carla did bring up a good point, and it's really important, you know, that the problem is with a lot of this home automation stuff, keyless entry is the perfect example. There is a different keyless entry for every person based on the situation and what they need and how they use it. She brought up elderly, elderly people. For elderly people, typically the best thing for them is the Bluetooth no keypad option. That means when there's a fob on their keys or in their purse or in, on their person, so when they get in a certain proximity to that door, it automatically unlocks. Like your, like your car now with the smart keys. Yep. So again, that's much, that makes a lot more sense than having somebody have to worry about, you know, Pushing typing right in button. four to six numbers. Right. Um, again, there, there's also different battery lights for different capabilities and stuff like that. So that's where, you know, the professionalism and understanding what the, what the need is. Again, it's not for everyone. Every single piece of home automation isn't for everyone. And we don't really approach it as, you know, we're looking to sell people home automation. No, we're looking to service you in your home needs. And then when we start going through what it is, then we start offering some of these solutions instead of buying a dimmer, instead of buying a regular smoke detector, can I show you this and how it can add value to, to what you're doing? Not just, not just showing you the whole gamut of home automation because almost every single person that we deal with who's either buying a house, doing a remodel, whatever, has a different need for different stuff like this and they didn't even know they, they didn't even know it existed. Right. So does that? Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, if we could go back to the um, smoke detector. Sure. Um, you said that there are insurance benefits to getting these? There are. You know, the, the first insurance benefit is you, you know the second something happens. Mm -hmm. Perfect example is I didn't even know it did this, but when, when I first installed it at my house, my father-in-law was doing some work at my house, and he hit something, and I got a notification on my phone when I was at work, heads up, your power's out. So I yeah. called him and said, what the heck are you doing? And he, he said, oh, geez, how'd you know I did that? He, he said, I just flipped the breaker in the basement. Well, he cut power mm -hmm. to my upstairs, which in turn made the smoke detector go from hardwire to battery backup. So again, if it wasn't him who did that, and I actually had the power out at my house, I would have known. You know, if I needed to send somebody over to check on what was going on, and that was from a smoke detector. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, the, some of the insurance companies are going to start to give incentive for having not smoke detectors, you are that much more likely not to burn your house down because the thing's going to tell you that something's going on. And the other really nice thing is when old school smoke detectors, when they beep, you got no, if you really aren't cooking or doing anything, what's causing the thing to beep? Is it the batteries? Is it this? Is it this? Is it smoke? Is it, who knows? With these, they tell you what room location is sensing something and what it's sensing. So this will literally speak to you and tell you there's smoke in the upstairs bedroom. There's carbon monoxide in the den or whatever you named that room. So they're not set up either. You, when, you, when you create an ad product, you actually get to name it. Same thing with the cameras. You get to name everything with a location and not by what Nest tells you the location is. Custom locations through the app. So, 
So this is a dual control, and also it lights your pathway? It can. Mm -hmm. So, again, we were talking about features and stuff like that. When you set these, when you set up a smoke detector, it allows for pathway lighting. So it means every time it senses motion, it will actually go on. There's different brightnesses that you can set that pathway light. For me, I have it in my hallways. In my upstairs hallway, I have pathway light. In my bedroom, I have no path light because the second somebody gets up to go to the bathroom, you know, you, you get the glow, and I don't, I just don't like the glow. Whereas right. we were talking elderly people. For elderly people, it's great because now it's a light. Now it's a almost like a night light that triggers the second somebody moves. So um, again, there's there's a lot of value, you know, with something like this. Again, also it tells you. Tells you when the batteries are running low. It doesn't beep. It tells you. It sends you notification to your phone. So not only do you have to worry about not hearing it, you're also getting a notification. Heads up, your batteries are low. So if you're not going to be home for six months, you potentially could send somebody over to change your batteries. You'd never know that your smoke detectors weren't working. So. And this again is very reasonably priced. Ninety nine dollars a smoke detector, and that's a CO and smoke detector. Right. They know the difference between smoke and steam. They're incredibly smart. They have heat sensors in them. Uh, the one, it's one of the safest and best recognizable smoke detectors on the market. And in real estate today, I mean, really in real estate right now, the laws, in fact, if you sell your home, uh, you really, uh, there's a $250 uh, charge that you'll be. Uh, all the smoke detectors need to be working. Yeah, my dad just found that out. Yeah. He just sold my, my grandfather. And carbon monoxide, if you have a gas furnace or fireplace or gas stove, you need a carbon monoxide on each floor and a smoke detector in every bedroom and in the and, a, and then one on every floor. So when you start thinking about adding them, um, we just did a house over in Vernon. Uh, I think I was spending, a, would say on average, $50 for the non-automated ones, uh, the ones that use a battery that I installed. Um, and uh, this one doesn't seem that much more and you get a whole lot more since it communicates to you outside the house. The other thing is I think these are far better looking than a typical uh, smoke detector today. Yeah. They're sleekly designed, I think. Yeah, They good. really are and what benefit, you know? So that's really wonderful to know. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we haven't touched on is the wireless uh, lighting controls. Yeah, that's... So yeah, we, we were talking about integration before. So, so the way this whole smart product came about for Connecticut Lighting Center is through, light, believe it or not, lighting control. So <laughs> who would have um, thought? thought? Exactly. But um, so we, we've been a Lutron dealer forever. And Lutron actually, um, the gentleman who, who started Lutron actually just passed away. But he actually invented the energy saving dimmer in Manhattan quite some time ago. Um, he's looked at as, as like Edison as far as like who he goes back to be. Um, he was one of the early inventors of of technology and Lutron has had the lighting control solution that we're using today for for quite some time now it's just was quite expensive so um, just three years ago to do your average 3,000 square foot house you you're talking tens of thousands of dollars for integration lighting control today you can do that same type of house for probably 1500 all in. So it's just incredible where the technology's gone. And again, um, with all this smart stuff coming out, I think Lutron finally said, you know what? We gotta go after this whole, <laughs> we have to go after everyone because if we don't, we're just gonna get swallowed up because- yeah, Somebody else will. <laughs> correct. And other people, even though our stuff is that much better, if it's a, a hundredth of the price, People are gonna, people will gravitate toward toward other things. Um, but again, you know, one thing about Lutron is Lutron has partnered. If you if you buy an Apple Watch today, Lutron Cassetta will come preloaded on the Apple Watch, so you don't even need to download it as an application. I don't know how many apps are on an Apple Watch, but there's not many of them. They're on you know on that home screen, and one of them is actually a lighting control app. So when that when the Apple Watch was being developed. Lutron was part of the team who was actually there in the in the inner workings of it, and Apple was that impressed with the technology side of what Lutron's able to do through the Lutron lighting. Basically, what we're talking about for for Lutron is you basically buy a smart hub, 
you plug the smart hub into your wireless router, you download a free app, you change a dimmer or switch on your wall, and for every one that you change, you could talk to from your phone anywhere in the world free. So you can just change, you know, perfect example is we get people all the time, I can't tell you, ask Carla how many times people come in and they say, I'm sick of this timer for my outdoor lights, I always have to change it, I don't know what to do, the thing breaks all the time, do you guys have a better solution without me having to spend 500 bucks? And we're like, yeah, 99 bucks, you can get a smart bridge, a dimmer, and download a free app, and you can put that switch on the circuit that turns on your outdoor lights, and every single day, your lights can come on from either time of day, so if you want to set them from 7 to 11, or if you want them to set them to dusk to dawn, like I do mine, the clock's just changed, you know, I don't ever have to, you know, tell the system to change it. It knows when the sun rises, when the sun sets, and it's just, I, I haven't touched my lights since I moved into my house. Yeah. And we talked about um, the systems being in baby steps, so somebody could come in and start with the initial package and then eventually add to it and start building into the house all these different types of you know, remote controls and things of that nature, clip visors for inside your car so you can control the lights before you enter into the house. I mean, so it can definitely be something that you just start with a small little, you know, area of the house and work your way out and eventually the whole house could be automated. So it's perfect for, again, you know, um, elderly, children, you know, young, young people who obviously are big into their apps. Um, but yeah, definitely it's the way to go. Well, I was just thinking just now, uh uh, we we were trying to uh, we had a client who was interested in buying a house and his garages were several hundred feet away from the house. Uh, this would be something where when you pull in the garage, you hit the switch and the whole backyard lights up so you can walk to the house. Yeah. Yeah. Very well, could yeah, 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 and uh, and yeah. I mean, just from an ease standpoint, it's just incredibly easy. Um, we have about one minute left of the show, so I was just wondering uh, if you could address the viewers out there and tell them the most important things that they should know about home automation, because you've definitely impressed upon me that this is just making life so much more pleasant and easy. and. I I'm think, all for it. <laughs> I think the biggest thing is, is that I, I don't think you have to feel like you can't um, control anything. You can't install anything. These products that we're, we've discussed today are simply easy to install. They're easy to maneuver through your app or manually. So you don't have to be very technical to be able to install or to use any of these products. And I think that's the biggest thing we need to stress upon people. And they don't have to be overpriced. They, their you know, price points are perfect and they can start out in baby phases of utilizing all these products and and again the, the other most important thing is you know think about temperature think about lights think about security and how it would play a role into your life and then ask those questions mm -hmm. you know come into a place like Connecticut lighting mm -hmm. and and ask and that's where you'll really find what product is probably gonna fit best in with your life and that's what we typically see so this does not have to be for just high-end custom homes anymore. This could be for just a this small is, home. This is, for, this everyone. is for everyone. You're talking $99, a thermostat at $249. Mm -hmm. um, you're talking cameras at $199. I mean, extremely reasonable mm -hmm. compared to... And again... And like, not a subscription fee. And you can yeah. build... Yes, no subscription, and you can build on it. So again, a, a smart dimmer for 52 bucks. You know, it's $99 for the, for the system. I mean, you know, again, you can come in on a weekend and buy a kit for $99 and then next week buy a dimmer and not worry about it for another year and then buy five dimmers. Mm -hmm. Perfect so for condos. It's yeah, just you know. incredible the way you can just build upon it. No, the integration is great. And they all work with each other. You know, so Lutron, we, we, we always, Connecticut Lighting at least, always think years ahead. We, we don't want to sell you something that is going to be obsolete or something that's not going to be integratable within a few years. So we do that research prior to, prior to teaming up with companies and figuring out who we're gonna carry. Well, we're so glad you came. It's been a, a delightful, so thank you. No, and no thank problem. Thank you for coming. Definitely, anytime. So uh, we wanna, of course, thank our viewers again for watching our show, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.